Today we're at Lake Murray State Park. We're gonna go into Davis, eat some barbecue, and then some fried pies. Let's go. This is the Oklahoma Road Trip. From the Endangered Ark Foundation in Hugo, the team heads east into Ardmore. Our first stop of the day is the beautiful Lake Murray State Park. Well, the park was built in the 30s as part of the, the New Deal era that allowed them to create a new Oklahoma State Park. So this was the first park. And there's a lot of buildings on site that you can still tell that. We have golfing, we have obviously fishing and, and all types of water activities. We have a nature center and a historic museum. We have 32 lodge rooms and 55 cabins here. We have the restaurant on site open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. This is a big facility. It's a 25 mile wraparound. Well, the nature center opened about three years ago. It's a new facility um, and it's got information on you know, different types of wildlife in the area and things that you can do to, to pass the time. We get a lot of visitors through there and it's a beautiful facility that overlooks the water much like this does. We are here at the Heritage Cabins. This is cabin 236. Outside we have our outdoor fireplace. Inside I'll take you inside to give you a wonderful view. Whoa! This is cabin. Oh, it's beautiful! Oh my gosh, it's so cozy! Tucker Tower is iconic all by itself, so people all over the region know that facility because it looks like a castle sitting on the water. Mm -hmm. oh. oh my god. That's a pretty decent view, I'd say. Holy smokes. Wow. Man. Yeah. This place is just filled with views. That's so awesome. From Lake Murray State Park, the crew drives north toward Davis, just in time for lunch at our next stop, Smoking Joe's. If you go back a couple years, this place actually has a lot of stories to tell. Back in 1942, it was the very first RV camp motel in the state of Oklahoma. It was actually a really gorgeous piece of property, and the restaurant is original to the property. It is kind of a neat story when you pull in here because it does have a lot of history for Southern Oklahoma. We have the restaurant, we have a boutique, a kind of a, a western eclectic, bohemian vibe thing going on over there. We try really hard to bring something family oriented to our area and to this part of Oklahoma. So if you're here, um, you, you, it can be a little bit of a destination. You know, we've got the ability for you to come in and get a bite to eat. You can park your RV out back if you'd like to. There's a lot of really awesome things to do in Southern Oklahoma. So within 20 miles, you've got a weekend and possibly a week you can make out of it with your family. We sling a lot of barbecue. That's right. what we do here. And speaking of food, it looks like oh my God. Ta -ta -ta! Oh my it is that time. We have our smoked baked potato and our weight salad, our three meat combo <laughs> with our Polish sliced brisket oh ribs and fries God. and beans. I'll, I'll keep this one. I'll keep, keep a hold of that. Our three meat with our chicken, bologna, full pork, oh corn, and okra. Y'all enjoy. Man, I heard these ribs were the best ribs west of the Mississippi. So. I would agree. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's okay. just fall off the bone to me. Okay, here we go, Lays. After devouring some delicious barbecue at Smoke and Joe's, it's time to hit the road for some dessert. And that brings us to our final stop of the day, Arbuckle Mountain Fried Pies. We just left Smoke and Joe's Rib Ranch, and now we're here at Arbuckle Mountain Fried Pies. Let's go get some pie. Is that a dinosaur? Why is he looking at that rooster? You know, pies are good enough, Tell me why fried pies. What makes a fried pie the crust? The crust on these are flaky, and you got a little bit of a salty and makes are sweet. So tell me, how many pies can you make in one day? Uh, our record is 4,300. All different flavors. In the summer, especially on the weekends. Yeah. That's 3,000 plus a day. Wow. So you'll start off with just your little balls of dough. You'll roll it through your machine. You come out with your circle. They'll play them out, they'll put the filling in there, they'll fold them over, crimp it, and then you fry it. It's ready to go. Tell me about the rooster on top of the building there. The rooster used to hang out up oh. front and meet the customers and okay. hang around on the porch. So it all makes so, sense now. Yeah, so we put a rooster up there when he disappeared. <laughs> such a fun day. We went to an awesome state park, ate some awesome barbecue, and now, Lacey, what are we doing here? We're eating some fried pies. Woo! So good. See you next episode. <laughs> nice bow, bro. On today's road trip, we learned some of the history and devoured some of the tasty food that makes the Ardmore and Davis area so unique. First, we made our way to Lake Murray State Park, where Dana and Richard told us all about the park and the variety of activities offered to guests. For a full list of the park's activities and amenities, check out TravelOK.com. Next, we made our way to Smokin' Joe's Rib Ranch, 
Smoke and Joe's is often considered to be one of the best barbecue restaurants in the state, and for good reason. Everything they served us was delicious, and we definitely recommend the rib combos and their strawberries on a cloud. Finally, we ended our day with some dessert at Arbuckle Mountain Fried Pies. The fried pies were delicious, and it was also a treat seeing how they were made. Did you know that on an average weekend, Arbuckle Fried Pies serve around 3,000 pies a day? That's a lot of pie. Tune in next week where we'll take you up to Paul's Valley. We'll check out the Toy and Action Figure Museum, Bob's Pig Shop, and in the day at the Santa Fe Depot Museum. We'll see you then.